Okay, the fitting we're going to have a look at today is a double union ball valve. Now, this is a good example of a PVC double union ball valve. This is an inch and a half valve. Um, and as you can see, it's a double union because it has a union on both ends. One of the important things about double union ball valves is that they always have a direction of flow marked on them with an arrow. Now, when we take the unions off, we'll see the valve looks pretty similar on both sides. So, why does it have a direction of flow? Now, the valve needs to be taken apart to be serviced and one end of the valve is completely sealed on, that's this end, and the other end we can see there's a gap running around. So if we put our flow at the other direction and we shut the valve and then take this union off, this end would burst off because it's designed to be serviced by pushing out the ball so the seal comes out, the internal o-ring comes out, and the ball comes out as well and that's the seal at the other end. So the whole, fat, whole valve can be serviced very, very effectively. So simply put the ball back in to reassemble, put the internal o-ring in on its seat, ensuring it's sitting properly on its seat, put the end of the valve back on. As you can see, a double union ball valve is a full bore valve, so it opens, it opens for a full bore flow. Now that's really handy, especially in things like fish farming and wastewater treatment where you occasionally get particles in the water. There's nothing in this valve when it's open to foul at all, so there's nothing going to get blocked here really. The only way it might get blocked is if it's operated at a half open and you might get things around here. But ball valves tend to be either fully open or fully closed. And that's really how they're designed to operate. If you want a valve that's going to be partially open then you really need to look at a valve like a slide valve or a diaphragm valve or a gate valve and you'll find those on our website. So the double unions on a valve enable the valve to be taken out of service and put back into service without cutting the pipe either ends. So it's very good for systems where we need to take the pipe work apart every now and then, maybe just after a pump it's handy to have a union there because then we can take the valve off and we can take the pump away for servicing and then we can reconnect the whole thing back up again. So there we have it, a double union PVC ball valve. Thanks for watching. Bye.